Hey, what's up, guys? Eddie von Helen 98 here with the 52nd uh, How to Make a 2D Game tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about varial length. Sorry, varial variable length arguments. So let's say we have a method. It's so public static void print. We have a shorthand method for the uh, printer method. Uh, string uh, line one, string line two, string line three. Okay, and also I'd like to note that this is a clean uh, project. This isn't uh, with libgdx. This is a pure Java thing that I'm teaching here. This is nothing to do with libgdx. Actually, I don't think we'll be returning uh, to a libgdx project in quite a while. So uh, if you want to, then just feel free to just create a new Java project, just like we used to in the the early the early tutorials before libgdx. Uh, and we're just going to print system dot out dot println. Line one, line two, line three. Yep, and then yeah, and then we'd call these call these methods, and it would all print. But this seems a bit long-winded. And also, what if uh, suddenly I just uh, at the time of calling this method, I decided I wanted to call four lines or two lines. So the shorthand method. So the trick here we use string followed by an ellipsis that's three dots then line get rid of this we stick in a for loop um, we're gonna have string x equal to each line so this for loop will uh, loop through each line or each um, string that's submitted and make it equal to x and each time for each argument System print len x. Okay, so with this print method, we can put any amount of lines that we want to. We can put in any amount of string parameters that we wish, um, which can be five, ten, or even zero. We can even have zero. So I'm going to test this here. Print, and we, we're going to go back to the good old hello world. And that's it. Run this. Works perfectly fine. So that's just a little trick for you guys, uh, instead of having to use, for example, an empty array or whatnot, this just works better uh, than using an array, and also having to, you know, use the previous use the previous method, uh, which is not exactly the most efficient. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this short tutorial. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.